I'm going to show you a slideshow of 15 suggestions that you can use in order to improve your oral communication skills. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to, I, I need you to participate. Okay. So let me show you. Um, just a second. Let me open. Okay. This is teaching you how to initiate a conversation this lesson actually does not choose a level this lesson is good for level five level six level seven level eight level nine level ten even college or university okay so i'm gonna start um initiating a conversation Okay, Buswa and Emeline and Fahid, you are the first, right? Initiating a conversation with someone means how do you open or start a conversation with somebody when uh, if people in the workplace or at school or on the bus or on the plane or in the park, if they don't talk to you, do not say oh they are not friendly you've got to you know you you've got to you know look at yourself okay what are you doing why these people are not talking to you okay so if people are not talking to you um talk to them okay so i'm gonna share with you a, a very short story like one of the th okay i was sitting with the teachers in the lunch room and that time it was 1998 i just i had just bought a house on kothra and Bloor. and then i noticed that my neighbors did not want to talk to me okay and so my my co-teachers uh, asked me also oh, andrew do you like your house you said oh i love my house we have a very big huge um master's bedroom and nice kitchen and we have a beautiful finished basement and the backyard is backyard is huge because it's an old place and then said oh but i i am not happy with my neighbors i said and they said why i don't know like uh, when when i see them they don't even look at me they don't even say hello to me I said, which is so different because in California, where I live, lived, like um, before in Orange County, like people would say hello to you everywhere you go in your neighborhood. When you go jogging, people say hello to you. And here I noticed that people don't even make eye contact. You know, here in Mississauga, I don't know in your city. And so, um, uh, one of the teachers said to me, are you sure they don't, they don't want to talk to you? I said, yes. Like, I was like um, cleaning my car on the driveway, and I saw this lady. She was coming up. She didn't even look at me. She went, she got in her car, and then she drove away. And then this teacher told me, um, have you ever tried saying hello to them? I said, no, they are not look, they were not looking at me. They are not looking at me. Why should I say hello to them? And then she said, Andrew, say hello to them. And you will see. Okay. So I remember what the teacher told me. And the following day, um, I saw this lady coming out. I said, good morning. I am your new neighbor. And then, my God, she smiled and she walked up to me. She walked up to me smiling and she said to me, Hi, my name is Trudy. She said, My, my name is Trudy. I saw you here like uh, the, the following day, but I saw you. You were busy and I didn't want to bother you, she said. And she said, My name is Trudy. And then we shook hands. And after that, she and her husband, sometimes gave me apples he said oh um andrew 
we went apple picking and we would like to share with you and you with your wife this these apples and so my point here is sometimes people do not talk to you because you do not talk to them if people don't want to talk to you talk to them first and you will see they actually like you but they are scared sometimes or they are too busy or they are nervous or maybe they think you are not friendly so when you talk to people they will talk to you only crazy people will not talk to you if you say good morning you know if they don't talk to you then these people are not normal okay so when you go to a party or to your to a, to um to an office okay to an office like this is very simple but it's not easy to remember okay let's start with bushwa bushwa when you see a name say your name okay okay go bushwa please win this energy you say hello hello go. hello have we met my name is bushra nice to meet you bushra my name is andrew nice. beautiful day to be bushra nice meeting you nice meeting you too okay um bushra read the second one hi there i don't think we hi. have met no i don't think so my name's bushra hi bushra that's a nice name bushra easy easy to remember my name is my name is alejandro nice meeting you too <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you okay good Emmeline, read the third one and the last one we haven't met have we well my name is Emmeline. nice to meet you Emmeline. my name is andrew nice to meet you andrew I don't think we have met, but let me introduce myself. I'm Emmeline. Please call me Emmeline. No, see your name, last name. I'm Emmeline. Justice. Please call me, call me Nelly. No, no, no. Say your full name. Professional conversation. Okay. Let me repeat, Andrew. Okay. Yes. I don't think we have met, but let me introduce myself. My name is Emmeline K. Please call me Emmeline. Nice to meet you, Emmeline. My name is Andrew Taylor. You can call me Andrew. Yes, it's a beautiful day today. You Are you new in the company? No, actually no. Yeah, today is my first day on the job. Oh. You see, welcome to the company, you see welcome to the company emeline you are not friendly your voice is not friendly you know it's not warm you've got to say i don't think we, okay with a smile right i don't think we've met but let me introduce myself my name is emily my name is emily taylor that please call me emily emeline right so like smile energy beautiful voice Hello, my, how, hello, have we met? My name is Andrew. Hi there, I don't think we've met. My name is Andrew. We haven't met, have we? Well, my name is Andrew. You know, be happy, be energetic, be sincere, okay? Now, Fahid, Fahid, please read everything. Read everything and you throw answer, Fahid, okay? Uh, Jethro, I mean, uh, Fahid, go. Hello, have we met? My name is Fahid. Hi there. I don't mm -hmm. think he's not. Jethro, are you here? Yes. Please answer, Fahid. With my own end, with a whisper, right? Yeah. Uh, hello. No, uh, your answer, you have to make up an answer. Okay. okay Fahid, one more time. Hello, uh, have we met? My name is Fahed. Oh, Fahed, nice to meet you. My name is Chesworth. Yes. Okay. Nice Continue to meet you too. Hi there. I don't think we've met. My name is Fahed. Oh, Fahed. 
Let me guess. Your name remind me someone. Uh, where you from? How you? How you? How you from Brazil? No, I'm not from Brazil. I'm from Lebanon. Oh. <laughs> What is this Jethro? <laughs> no, I thought Jethro is going to say, are you from the accounting department? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, continue. Uh, we haven't met, have we? Well, my name is Fahed. Mm, Fahed, um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So my name is Jethro. And how, how are you? Nice name. I'm great. Nice to hear that. Happy to see you. OK, last one. I don't think we've met, but let me introduce myself. I'm Fahed Fahed. Please call me Fahed. And this is very funny because That's my fine. parents didn't uh, uh, have the time to choose a first name for me. Oh, my God. You have the same name with, uh, with my cousin. My cousin name is Fahed as well. Wow, interesting. The world yes. is so so small. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Uh, yes. Okay. So now we're gonna so the point uh, here, number one, the point is when you walk into a party or when you are at a party and you see somebody, no one is talking to him, walk up to the person and say, Hi, have we met? my name is andrew you know like make people feel comfortable by talking to them like bushwa you see um a ukrainian lady um at a party and this party is fahed fahed's party and you see this ukrainian lady she's a little bit shy she's quiet she's drinking you know her red wine but she is you can feel that she's not comfortable so walk up to her and say, hi, how are you? I don't think we've met. My name is Bushra. And hi, my name is, my name is uh, Jenny. You know, like talk to a person, to the person. And even in the workplace, in the workplace, Emily, if there is a new worker and the new worker normally does not feel comfortable because she doesn't know anybody, and you've been in a, in a company for six years. Walk up to the person and say, hi, I, my name is Annalyn. I don't think we've met. Um, you must be the new, you must be the new secretary. Yes, yes, and my name is Angela. Okay? So when, if you want to practice your English, walk up to people and talk to them. Okay? Okay, next number two um number two jethro invited you legacy to his party okay and you walk okay okay while, while you're at the party you're looking around you see the painting the sofa the plants they're beautiful so and then you go to the balcony you see the cn tower or you see the, the Lake Ontario. Remark on the location and remark on the occasion, okay? Use beautiful language. Give people compliments, okay? So, um, Legacy, please read the first one. What a gorgeous place you have. Did you decorate it yourself, uh, Jethro? <laughs> no, no, don't talk to Jethro. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay, talk to me. Uh, yeah, no, actually, I did not. My mother-in-law decorated this, and I love the decoration. And you see, you see that lampshade? That lampshade was a gift from your sister, Rachel. It's wow. beautiful, huh? Wow, this looks amazing. So you get it from your sister? Yeah, your sister gave it to me. Wow, that's awesome. Yes. That's, go that's gorgeous. I like it. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, 
Um, okay, next, a legacy, do the second one. So legacy, you're holding, you're holding something, Lexi. Wow, this looks amazing. Where did you get it? I can go. Wow. Yep. Wow, this looks amazing. Where did you get it? You can't believe this. I got it at Value Village. <laughs> wow, that's nice. That yeah, I got it at Value Village. Yes, but wow, don't say nice. only three dollars, only three dollars. Yeah, I got it at Value Village. Okay. Wow. Next, Muhammad, read the third one and the fourth one. Muhammad, what is George's place? You have. Did you decorate it? No, number three. The third one, Muhammad. You're the third one. Oh, whoa! What an incredible catering. May I know the name of the company? Oh, I forgot the name of the company, Muhammad. Let me call. Okay, I'm gonna call Emily. She recommended that I go. I, I, I do my cat catering in this company so let me call i will like text you tomorrow okay thanks so the last one muhammad you come to my place you go to the balcony you look outside and you see lake ontario and the cn tower okay go the last one muhammad. look at that the view is Always some, I love it. Muhammad, your English is not natural. You've got to say, look at that. The view is awesome. I love it. And then you look at me. I love it. Wow. Is that the CN Tower? And this lake, this lake on Tario, right? Wow. You have a beautiful place. What a gorgeous place you have amazing you know what I mean? okay so now uh rachel can you please read everything what's a what a gorgeous place you have did you decorate it yourself wow this looks amazing where did you wow. get it what an incredible country May I know the name of the company? Look at that. The view is awesome. I love it. Yes. Um, you know what I noticed in your class? You, you, you don't speak natural English. Like when I listen to you, I listen a person reading, not talking, but reading. Okay. So I really want to change you and make you speak. You are reading, but you are speaking, right? Like what a gorgeous, you've got to feel the language. What a gorgeous place you have. Did you decorate it yourself? Wow. Wow. You know, wow. This looks amazing. Where did you get it? Wow. What an incredible catering. May I know the name of the company? Look at that. The view is awesome. I love it. You know, feel it. Okay. Okay. Sandra, you are next. Okay. Number three. Ask an open-ended question. Now, the question is, what is an open-ended question? An open-ended question uh, is a question that you do not answer yes or no instead of saying yes or no you give information okay like look at this what how long how long have you lived here how did you find this apartment when did you get this apartment these are open-ended questions that require that require answers or reactions okay so we have to go faster because we have a grammar lesson it's almost seven o'clock so what i'm gonna do is sandra 
you will read everything. And Sandra, I will answer, okay? Sandra, go. Okay. Uh, what a beautiful place, Andrew. When did you get this apartment? Oh, I got this apartment two weeks, two weeks ago. Uh, no, I got this apartment a month ago and I moved in two weeks ago. I love this apartment as well. Look outside. I can see Lake Ontario. Yeah, it's beautiful. The view, it's beautiful. Uh, how did you find this apartment? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. No, go, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Say it, it's gorgeous. Go gorgeous. Yes. Everybody, if you don't know one how, how to pronounce a word, and I am presenting, what you do is take a pen and a paper and then write it and then write the pronunciation in your language. So next time you know how to pronounce it. Oh, I found this apart. Okay. My, my friend uh, found this apartment for me. He actually found it on KGG. And the rent is not, not very bad. For a two bedroom, $1,700. This is a good deal in Mississauga. Oh, I found my place also in Kijiji. Oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, what a magnificent place you have. How long have you lived here? Oh, I moved here just a month ago. Oh, my oh, wife really? is so happy. My wife is so happy. She loves the kitchen. Nice. Wow, you're very lucky. You live in a gorgeous neighborhood. Yeah, you know, because I don't have a car, so it is very important that I live close to square one. And people here are very friendly. My neighbor, oh my God, so nice, so nice. And so, and it's so quiet here at night. That's nice. Okay, good. So it is important that you're able to talk with people, you know, and you've got to be versatile with your communication. Some people are good at talking about job, but they cannot talk about food and movies or, or sports. Some people are so good at sports, but they cannot talk about um, travel and tourism. Okay? For you to be fluent in English, you have to expose yourself to different situations in life. Okay, next. Number four, combine general remarks with open-ended questions. Like, it means combine compliments with questions. Okay, but don't wait for the answer. Do not wait for the answer. Soraya, please read everything. When did you get this apartment? What a gorgeous place you have. Yes. How long have you lived here? You're lucky. It is a beautiful and safe neighborhood. Mm -hmm. How far you are from the mill, the mall, and all the minitates? Very Just convenient. Very convenient. Just ten I minutes, Soraya. Yeah, teacher. You say very convenient. I love it. You know. Very convenient. I, I love think. it. Okay, very good. Okay. So, amenities. 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 Amenities means um, agencies, offices, buildings that we need to make our life easy or uh, um, things that we need, like school, uh, hospitals, clinic, shopping mall, park. Uh, those are amenities, okay? Library, city hall, cinemas, those are amenities. Facilities are inside the amenities. Like if the amenity is, is the library, the facilities will be reading room, computer room, um, theater, uh canteen or coffee shop those are the facilities children's playground inside the library okay you got it Soraya? okay next 
um, Jenny. Okay, next, number five, keep the conversations going with small talk. Now, small talk is a talk or a conversation about movies, children, pets, food, um, losing weight, drinking coffee, shopping, you know, things that they're not really important. Okay, you call them small talk. Okay, it's like a chat, right? Now, um, Jenny, please read. What a gorgeous weather we have today. It's so sunny, no rain. I'm so happy. I'm too tired of rain, you know. Read next. Okay, one of the most refreshing movies I've seen in years. Yeah, and Julia Roberts was excellent in this yeah, movie. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think the main actor is George Clooney. You are an you are an exception, Cook. This stick is so tender and juicy. Your husband is so fortunate to have you. Your wife is so fortunate. I'm also lucky. To have him. <laughs> I'm also lucky to have him. He's such a good father to my children, and he he works very hard. I'm extremely impressed. You are a versatile dancer. Whoa, awesome. Awesome. This is awesome. awesome. Yeah. awesome. Oh, Jenny, you know, my mom trained me to dance when I was four years old, and I fell in love with dancing. Yes, you're right. I can dance salsa, merengue, bachata, um, uh, samba, all those Latin dances, cumbia. I can dance all of them. I'm so versatile. You're right. Okay, I'm gonna go back to you, Busra. Okay, now when you agree or disagree with the person, do not say, Oh my god, that's crazy! Oh my god, that's stupid! Oh my god, that's um, you are wrong, you know what I mean? Do not argue with people, do not disagree with people this way. You've got to be diplomatic. You've got to be polite. You've got to be professional. Okay. Now, uh, Busra, you will read all of them one by one. Okay. Just read from the top to the bottom one by one. Okay. And then I will I will say to you something and read one by one. Okay. okay. Do not jump. Okay. That's a great um, idea. Busra, we're, we're gonna cancel the picnic tomorrow because it's gonna rain. Let's go bowling instead. I love it. Um, um, Bushra, Jenny is such a nice lady. I think so too. Um, do you think we should, uh, Bushra, do you think we should talk to Fahid first before we change the plan? I think that idea will work. Mm -hmm. Bushra, I'm so hungry. I, I want to forget my diet today. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bushra, Bushra, um, Fahid is a good student, but he's lazy. I have a different opinion. <laughs> Bushra, Jenny, uh, Jenny is the most beautiful woman in the class. I'm sorry, but I don't agree. <laughs> Um, Bushra, Bushra, I think the best way, I think the best way to lose weight is drink a lot of tea. That's interesting. Why do you think so? Yeah, because my Chinese student told me this. Okay. <laughs> um, Bush, you are kidding, Bush, right? Bushra, people say, no, no, not yet. Bushra. People say that I look so young and I look like George Clooney. You are kidding, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, good. So anyway, 
when you disagree with somebody, make sure that you are diplomatic, you are polite, do not hurt other people. Um, okay, especially if you care about this person, do not hurt the person by by saying, "Oh, you're stupid," or "Oh, you're lazy." Look at you, you stink. Yeah, that's a stupid idea. Why did you say that? Okay, number seven. Use words of sensory nature. When you use words like "I feel," "You seem," "You look like," you know, it is more sensitive and more um, effective communication. Instead of saying, um, in, instead of saying like, um, "I am depressed," don't say "I am depressed." you cannot diagnose yourself with depression i am depressed no don't you say i feel depressed because your feeling people cannot argue but if you say you are depressed why do you know you're not a doctor why you know you're depressed it's your opinion right so i feel depressed today okay emeline please read uh emeline i'm gonna answer okay okay where do you see yourself in the next five years Andrew? retired and living in california <laughs> what is your sense of the current political situation in your native country well i think i think donald trump is not gonna win the election because uh many people don't like him uh biden will likely win the election again how do you feel about the outcome of last night's election i do not agree with the outcome of the election last night but i respect democracy and so i will work with the new administration i think it's good for for the country imagine working night shift and don't have a car i know jenny does not have a car and she works night shift she is tired all the time i hope her life changes i feel sorry for this lady <laughs> okay fahed you're next and one question what is outcome what is outcome the meaning? is result result okay result okay how do you feel about the result of last night's election outcome is result okay. next number eight respond thoughtfully to someone who remains awkward or uncomfortable in your presence do not ask intrusive questions intrusive questions are questions like how old are you are you married I don't see your husband. Are you divorced? Uh, your children, is your son gay? You know, these are intrusive questions. Is your daughter normal? You know, um, you're gaining weight. How much do you weigh? By the way, why do you think this way? What is your religion? You know, these are intrusive questions. Okay be sensitive do not ask how old are you how much money do you make in this factory these are intrusive questions are questions that are private you should not infringe people's privacy okay fahed please read wow i like it a lot no no fahed, be happy you see wow i like it a lot you know wow you know be happy okay go wow i like it a lot you are awesome i admire you thank you fight i'm trying my best you know this has been the best i have done uh in years i'm fascinated by you you are so witty and kind thank you very much Fahid. you and your family are very nice as well i feel home when i'm with you i can definitely relate to you I've been in that situation. I know. Uh, you know, uh, Buswa told me the same thing. Yeah, we have the same experience, you know, coming to this country 
and we with nothing and sometimes we encounter some challenges that we did not expect that people did not tell us before coming here it's difficult i'm in oh we actually have a lot in common yes i was surprised for him that you also like i i was afraid i was surprised that you also like salsa because you're from lebanon and you dance salsa you know for me this is so interesting <laughs> yeah i've took some courses uh, earlier dancing courses wow perfection i don't know what else to say oh thank you so much for it i'm still learning i'm still learning <laughs> okay very good okay next let's have jethro 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 this one you just read it okay uh just read this one jethro um uh, but let me explain before you read maintain the equilibrium means when you are with people be sure that you do not monopolize the conversation okay means you do not like talk 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 90 percent and people can only talk 10 percent you've got to mean you've got to strike a balance between people or among people okay so jethro go give everyone an equal opportunity to speak do not monopolize the conversation ask what people think to encourage them to take part of the conversation listen and wait for the other person to finish before you whisper yes when you see that when you are in a when you are with a group of people everybody and no uh, one person is not talking make sure that you include this person by saying so what do you think Bushra? because Bushra, i know he, she's not talking and maybe she's not talking because she's afraid to speak english right or she does not feel comfortable and so so i say so Bushra, what do you think about our plan about the picnic tomorrow and then Bushra will say oh i think it's a good idea and then later okay everybody is chipping in 22 dollars um Bushra, is 20 dollars okay mm. you know like why you know it's okay but why are you asking her because you want her to feel that she is included okay that is very very important and then number 10 avoid when you are talking and thinking avoid doing um so you know what i mean like for example um for example you say um Bushra, uh tomorrow morning um i um no don't do this close your mouth uh Bushra, tomorrow morning let's go at seven o'clock instead of eight o'clock yeah you know the uh but listen everybody i do this all the time please don't judge me <laughs> i do that all the time because sometimes i do it I do uh and so why because i'm a teacher there are so many things no there are some things that i cannot tell you because it is not politically correct you've got to understand this and so sometimes i have to slow down and choose my words when i'm talking about something especially sensitive topics okay number 11 never swear never insult never disrespect never use racial religious sexual orientation gender slurs in front of others at all times especially in front of your children when you're in front of the, your children and you are telling your husband a story and your story is negative about some nationalities okay be careful because the children are listening maybe they are not talking but they are listening to you you are indirectly teaching the, the children discrimination your children will not like this nationality oh 
you are from okay for example oh are you from papaya country my mom said that you papayan people are blah 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 you know it's negative okay so especially like when you are telling a story to your friend and to your children or to your husband to your wife to your mother to your father about what you saw on television people shooting do not mention the color of the person do not mention the country of the person because if you do this you are creating stereotype if there's people were if these two men are uh you see these two men shooting on television you say honey did you see those two men they 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 shot they shot the store owner in toronto oh my god what's happening in canada do not say did you see those two men of, of the green color skin yeah, don't because if you do that you are creating stereotype you are you are generalizing people from that country or from that color okay and when you are telling a story do not if your story is negative do not mention the country okay do not mention the country do not mention the sexual orientation do not mention the religion if you do that you are creating discrimination um against other people okay i hope you understand me when bad things occur talk about what has been done not people's race religion or sexual orientation talk about the action not the color of the person talk about the action not the religion of the person okay do not scream when you are in public places do not talk too loud when you're on the bus and your telephone rings you say yes mom i'm on the bus i'm on the way to toronto i'm gonna be there in 20 minutes no like this okay like this um um hello mom i'm on the bus i'm on i'm i'm on my way to toronto yes yeah i'll be there in 15 minutes bye love you yeah speak lower right okay don't scream keep your voice down especially in public places in canada in canada it is not polite to speak too loud when you are in public places okay just to let remind you sometimes people do not like you not because of your color not because of your religion people do not like you because of the way you talk the way you move the way you act so people don't like you it's not about color or religion or race number 12 if you care about the person concede in an argument okay i'm just gonna read everything because uh, we have to finish quickly okay if you care about the uh the the person concede in an argument what it means the what it means by this is if you love or care about the person you are arguing and you know you cannot win even you are correct just concede concede means just accept that you lost even you even you're wrong even you're, you're correct concede arguing with with others sour relation with that person if you argue with your wife she's not happy to see you tomorrow okay if you argue with your husband you hurt his feeling as a man and sometimes he goes out with friends and he does not come home early because he's not happy to be home. If you argue with your mother-in-law, your mother-in-law will be gossiping about you to her, fa uh, to her family. So yeah, this is not a good idea to argue with people. You can argue, but concede. Do not make the argument very long, okay? And if you're a man, if you know that your wife is angry with you, even you are not wrong, just say, sorry, I love you, you know, and you will see, it's better. Okay, if you care about the other person and want to keep your good relationship with him or her, concede. Do not add fuel to the fire 
when the other person is angry, don't meet him or meet her with anger. Keep silent. So when your wife says, oh my God, you think I'm working part-time and I'm not busy? Look, we have three children, blah, 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 blah. Keep quiet. Do not answer. And then you say, um, honey, you know, you see, honey, uh, I want you to relax. So I'm going to take the children out. I'm going to take them to the park. Text me when dinner is ready. And then your wife is surprised because you did not argue, right? So you go out, go to the, to the park, go to the park, and, um, and, uh, and spend time with the children. And you also make your wife relax. When you, when you go home, you will see your wife is happy and smiling. Okay. 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 Next. Um, don't ask about money. Don't ask about weight or age or religion or sexual orientation. This one I don't need to repeat. Next, 14, make eye contact. When you're talking with people, look at the person in the eyes. Okay. So last one, number 15, give a sincere smile. You give a sincere smile um, when you're talking with people. Give 5% to 10% smile. Like, for example, you say, hi, Emmeline. What a gorgeous place you have. You know, my face, like smiling. Oh, Emmeline, I like your hairstyle. Oh, Jenny, my goodness. That dress looks good on you. Buswa, your English is getting better. You know, smile. Okay. So um I will I'm gonna post this and and um I will continue with the next slide. Okay, let me stop the recording first, and then we're gonna go to the next slide.